Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for September 27th, 2019. We're going to start off with the SPY. We are stuck. Yeah, we're right below this brick wall called the 8 Exponential Moving Average. If we can break above that, right, there's room to go up to at least... 300. Remember that dark pool activity was 30109. Yeah, but we could have a move up to this 300. So watch that level very carefully. If we do break above that, we could test the dark pool 30109. We're going to be bearish below 296.75. If we do start to turn around and start to go down, that would be the trade set up right there. If we do nothing, don't trade it wait until monday e-minis bullish above 29.94 bearish below 29.87.50 the russell not quite up to that 8 ema in fact it is weaker as you can see it's even below the 4 ema so not really loving this trade i did map out a trade but again not loving it if we can break above the four then there's a retracement to the eight However, we're going to be bearish below 152.50. All right, so right now is kind of like a no trading zone for me. We'll see where that goes. Let's go to the QQQs. QQQs are still a little bit weaker as well. We're below the 4 EMA. Kind of ha tried to have a push at that 8 earlier. We'll be bullish above 190.25, above the 8. Uh, bearish below 189. So here are your trade setups. And right. Okay, right now, no trading zone. We'll go to the NASDAQ futures. NASDAQ futures. We're going to be bullish above 78.25, above the 8 as well. Bearish below 78.00. Let's go to the Dow futures. Bullish above 27,000, and you can see the coast is clear. If we can break above the simple 30 right here in green. Yeah, and then 27,000 is a major level. And we're gonna be bearish below 26,900. Oil futures, yeah, let's check these guys out. Always having a very big move. We're going to be bullish above 56.30, bearish below 55.60. But let me go to that weekly chart for you again. And again, we're still stuck, right, in between this wedge of two trend lines. We'll see where we go. If we break below that, look out below. All right, for the oil futures, I have a trade set up on USO for you. I'll share that for you in a minute. But before we get to that, Let's just look at these gold futures. Again, this is really key. I'm just going to go to a weekly chart as well. So we are below massive prints on gold. IAU, GLD, GDX. Uh, yeah, so looking bearish if we stay below these prints. This is the weekly candle. How are we going to close today? Yeah, if we close week below 1500, that's going to be bearish and we most likely we'll have a retracement trade down. 1460 first target, 1450 and 1440 is this bottom trend line. Very powerful. So watch those levels. But we'll see how they paint this candle. They can do anything they want. And then all of a sudden at the end of the day, it looks very different. So watch that. Watch that carefully today. But we're going to be bearish. Um, below 1498. Yeah, I wanted to give it a little bit of leeway. And you can see there's a Camarilla pivot right here. So 1498 is a key level for the gold futures. All right, let's go to the regular stocks right now. So I have GDX. One of my favorite ways to trade gold. We are bearish below 2775 right now. Just went below. I will be uh, only bullish above 28.50. Now we could get a retracement trade, but it's just not the easiest trade. We have major prints at 
10, um, 28.07, 28.18. So watch this area, major prints uh, from not too long ago. And then we had a recent print, 28.46. And that's why I'm bullish really above all those prints. And bearish below, you can see there's a lot less traffic to the downside. Let's go to Micron, they had earnings last night. Yeah, gap down trade, how are we gonna trade this? Is it gonna be a drop and pop scenario or a drop and drop lower? See this yellow line is the VWAP, we could tag this today. So I'm gonna be bearish below 45.50. If we do start to head down again, this would be our trade setup, however, is it going to be a drop and pop? So bullish above 46.25, if we can break above the 50 simple moving average, we could pop up to this simple 30. These are very, very strong moving averages. So watch that carefully. AMD, let's go to that one. Yep, AMD below those massive, massive prints. We've been trading this in the pit. Uh, I will only be bullish above 29.50 for a short retracement trade to the eight exponential moving average. However, I will be uber bearish below 29. If it does start to do one of these, that's gonna be bearish. Let's go to USO. Now that we checked out the oil, we're going to be bearish below 11.62. You can see on this daily chart, yeah, it's not looking too pretty here. Uh, in fact, kind of draw a trend line here. Yep, we're sitting pretty much, yeah, right on this trend. If we do break below here, especially a closing week below this, look out below for USO. Um, only bullish above 1180, and that's a short retracement trade to the eight exponential moving average. But a lot depends on those oil futures. So watch those levels carefully as well. Wells Fargo, insider trading at its best. We notice these unusual prints coming in. We don't normally get them on Wells Fargo. And of course they announced a new uh, CEO, right? Mm -hmm. So bullish above 50.50, that's a VWAP. Yep, if we can break above that on the daily chart, then there's higher highs to be had. However, if we do start to move down below 50, we could have a nice retracement trade, uh, which I've mapped out for you. Back down to the four EMA. Watch those levels. TLT, massive bond prints coming in. We're still, oops, I just have to tweak this. We're still at the top of this wedge trend line. Actually, we just uh, pulled back, but we're stuck. See where we are right now? We're stuck in between the four and the eight. If we break below that, we should have a quick, swift move down to the 50 simple moving average. So bearish below 141.50 for TLT. Uh, bullish above 142.50 for a you know push back to the top of this trend line. But keep in mind these massive prints here. Yeah, these are really key. We are below all of them right now. So until next time, have a happy weekend. Happy trading, everybody.